Uh, police raids are continuing across the country. More than 1,600 people have been arrested so far, with courts working 24 hours to process those charged. Uh, Jackie Rowland is live at the headquarters of London's Metropolitan Police Department. And Jackie, look, we're getting reports here. I know you're getting them where you are as well, that uh, there is a growing rift between the police and the government. Maybe you can talk about that for a second. And how serious is it? Well, look, Tony, in situations like this, it's inevitable that people want answers. They want explanations about how this happened, and inevitably they want to attribute blame, who was responsible. So you have got this kind of tit-for-tat thing going on at the moment between the government on the one hand and the police. Now, the British Prime Minister, David Cameron, has suggested that maybe the initial police response was not all it could have been. Uh, the police are not impressed at all with this criticism. They say, really, that they were put in an almost impossible situation. Let's have a listen to what one senior police commander had to say. What I can say is that with the unprecedented scenes that we found in London, I've got some of the best commanders in the world, police commanders in the world, that show great restraint as well as great courage. Uh, and as a result of that, we were able to nip this in the bud after, after a few days. Okay, so a bit of the flavor of the back and forth there. Uh, uh, Jackie, the courts, as we mentioned, are still very busy, and it looks like the accused are coming from um, a very wide and diverse background. Yes, I mean, observing the work of these magistrates' court, that's the, the first, the, the lowest court, if you like, that many um, people accused of a crime will appear before um, under the uh, court system here in the UK. Um, they've been working all day and all night now for about 48 hours. And yes, you're right, it's a real slice of life. I think what we've seen from the kind of people appearing in, uh, before these courts really defies many people's preconceived idea of who the looters and the rioters were. Yes, they've been young, unemployed men, but they've also been quite prosperous people as well, professional people, um, the sons or daughters of wealthy businessmen, um, university graduates. I think the really interesting thing about this is it's, it's thrown open, it's, it's exposed this image of Britain that many ordinary people here in the UK don't recognize at all, this idea of the opportunism and the sheer greed, the idea that for a few hours or for a few nights, people thought it was okay just to break into shops and take whatever they fancied. I think that's one of the things that people here do find so ex disturbing, really, about the whole experience, not just the violence, but this very ugly face of Britain that's been revealed. Yeah, and Jackie, will there be another heavy police deployment uh, for the weekend? Yes, I mean, what the police are doing at the moment is really beefing up the numbers. I mean, this spat, if you like, between the government and the police has been in part to do with resources. I and mean, the police very worried that, if anything, with these public spending cuts, the government is thinking of reducing police numbers even further. But that won't be the case this weekend for sure. I mean, if there's going to be a night when there's trouble in London, it's generally a Friday night anyway, the end of the working week. So certainly we will expect um, security forces here not to be taking any risks. Okay, uh, Jackie Rowland for us in London. Jackie, appreciate it. Good to talk to you. Thank you.